Could any of your children's gifts under the Christmas tree be counterfeit? The News 4 Jack's I team found out it's more common than you may think. Federal agents have already busted millions of dollars worth of fake clothing, jewelry, and electronics. Only on News for Jacks, I-Team investigator Vic Micolucci teamed up with local customs and border protection officers to show you the most commonly duplicated gifts this year. Vic? Enjoy it is easier now than ever before for people to sell these counterfeit items because you can buy them and sell them on Craigslist, Marcus lists, all these other important online e-commerce sites. And it's coming through the mail, but federal agents are doing their best to stop it from going out to the general public. From pricey Chanel and Louis Vuitton handbags to sought after Samsung phones and $1,500 Gucci sweatpants, these come with big markdowns. If the price is too good to be true, it probably is. These are some of the most desired gifts for Christmas this year, but customs officers say everything on this table is believed to be fake. In some of these cases, though, the counterfeits are pretty spot on. Yeah, absolutely. They've, they spend a fair amount of time and energy in creating these counterfeits, so they've, some are very good, some are not. This haul of knockoffs, just a snippet of shipments Jacksonville officers have seized in the past week. It's an endless supply. Name brands like Nike and Apple, replicated to a T. You know, on the surface, they look quality. The, uh, the, the packaging looks legit. However, uh, for these specifically, the serial numbers all match and are, are, are all the exact same. U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers showing us what they deal with on a daily basis, taking us to their top secret warehouse on Jacksonville's north side. This is where they keep watch on what comes in by air and sea. Federal officers have been doing this for decades, seizing billions of dollars of fake goods, but they say now they're busier than ever because of the COVID-19 pandemic. More people are shopping online, and that means there's more room for counterfeit items to sneak into the U.S. Supervisor David Dilland says they still find drugs, but phony merchandise is much more common. It comes mainly from China, but all over the globe. And for those that say, ah, there's no harm in that. The money that is going to the counterfeiters um, is typically that we found through, uh, through investigations is, is for criminal enterprise. Officers reminding buyers cutting corners comes with a cost. And that merchandise that we saw today just in the Jacksonville area, which was seized over the past week and a half, estimated to be worth $122,000 if it was real. Customs officers are urging people to do the right thing, do their homework, and if a deal seems too good to be true, don't buy it. We're live tonight on the South Side. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station.